the reason why the money laundering uh, problem is so, is, you know, is, is so prominent uh, here in the UAE, especially Dubai, is um, uh, not only because of the Hawala system, but you know, it's, it's, it's that, 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 that culture religion. is is changing slowly now. And you know, with the able work that the DFSA a are doing and the ADA are doing here, you know, in terms of uh, regulating the banks and the financial system here, you know, it's, it's great work from where they've come, uh, come from. Really really so when a lot of banks they want to do they, they want to do business with countries like Iran and Syria because you know the love of customers there's very profitable for them. but what happens is when financial institutions and banks they try to get by this and they evade the sanctions and then there's massive penalties uh, as well as the office and compliance stuff so the front office stuff who are there who are the frontline defense for all the financial institutions they they need the training um, uh, for AML KYC and CDD which is the most the important other thing, thing to understand about ISIS is that once 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 we strangle the funds once we freeze their assets and once we know um, as you as, as you know from the money laundering point of view that um, so, so that it's very difficult to detect so we, we need to make sure that uh, we're constantly uh, checking our customers our transactions and seeing where the money's going to where the money's flowing from is there any unusual activity or suspicious and going back to what I said or, earlier, this is, is you know, you know, some customers here in some of the banks uh, where they would uh, not only local banks but some of the foreign banks where you know they bring in like you know bags full of cash and they'll try to deposit the money and then the seed uh, for the Bank of Credit and Commerce International, otherwise known as BCCI, um, you know, with the able vision of uh, uh, the late Arvind and Abdi. Uh, you know, he started off this bank you know from a very very uh, humble beginning, planted the seed and made it into a truly international bank to bridge the gap between the third world and the West. And he achieved that to a certain extent before unfortunately it got shut down by Western authorities from the US and UK in 1991.